Hey guys, welcome to part three of this freaking commentary. Um, I just gotta mention something real fast. Remember how Ben was mentioning um, how he just loves um, like uh, have a laugh and uh, remixed or something like that. I, I just decided to freaking skip all that because it's just a freaking waste of time, and it's really not getting to the point where you know anything is like anything new, if you know what I mean. If not, then just leave a comment and I'll clarify or something. Well, other than that, I'm just going to begin this crap. And, yeah. I just hope I don't have to freaking suffocate with his retardation, man. Let's resume. Okay, done with the praising. Let's get back to the crap. Wow, he even admitted this is full of crap. That's just sad. Well, let's talk about a new Disney Channel sitcom that was added a couple, uh, months ago. Good luck, Charlie. More like, good luck to the viewer, because it's gonna, you're gonna need it for having to sit through a program like this. So anyway, I complained about teen sitcoms, so what does Disney Channel do? Make a baby sitcom! Yay! No. Babies are almost as bad as teenagers, because babies can't friggin' act! Mm, no, really? Wow, you must be really smart to know that. Also, I may not have seen the show, but, um, the concept seems promising. I mean, we rarely have any baby-themed TV show and movies nowadays. <sighs> I freaking miss baby geniuses. Such awesomeness. They're friggin' babies! What are you people thinking? They're thinking about being more original than your stupidity. Haven't you ever actually thought of that? <sighs> so anyway, this show is about Charlie, a, fe a little girl baby and her family and blah da blah da blah, blah, I don't care. Worried me. One thing that I was confused about this show, why is there a girl named Charlie? I never heard of a girl named Charlie, and if there is such things as a girl of a, as girls named Charlie, prove me wrong. So anyway, Charlie and her family get in stupid situations that I don't give a crap about. One episode I saw, the, mo the mom got a job as the school football team's mascot, don't ask, and they put Charlie in a baby race. A baby race? A baby race? I've never heard of a baby race before. Are those legal? Yes, for it rules out the crap that drugs and crime can't. Violence, betting, insanity, and brain surgeries. Do they exist? Does Ryu and Scorpion know how to fight? Yes, it does exist. But not that kind of public sporting event as far as I know. If they did, it would be kind of, kind of funny. <laughs> okay, let me do some math on this episode. Mom joins the school as a football team mascot. Ch -ch -ching. The family enters Charlie into a baby race. Ch -ch -ch -ching. The results? It just don't add up! I don't friggin' get it! What are they trying to do? Oh my gosh, as if Disney Channel show plots couldn't get any more one-dimensionally stupid. Okay, first of all, Ben, shows like these don't need two plots to coincide. And I should know, because I've seen House of Pain, Meet the Browns, and CSI. As long as it's entertaining, you have nothing to complain about. Second, stop treating this show like it sucks more than kids saying that recolors, you know, recolor Sonic characters are original. I know by saying that he shouldn't bash on it when I haven't even seen it myself, but the way he's complaining about certain things, it makes it kind of hard for me to believe him uh, when he uh, when he didn't even take the time to check out the series and it says it's bland and stupid. Gosh! Yeah, I don't have much to say about Good Luck Charlie, other than the fact that I find it hard, I find it laughable that they're trying to reach out to the whole family by having a whole family in this. Uh, I'd give him a point for trying, but it's just not working when one of your characters is a friggin' baby and she's the whole center of everything. I mean, gosh, Charlie makes the baby from Baby's Day Out look like Maggie Simpson for crying out loud, and that's pushing it. 
So anyway, good luck, Charlie. More like, good luck to the viewer. I know I already said that, but what, do you, can, what can you expect? My brain cells are dying here, people. Oh, so that explains why your judgment sucks. It also explains that you have the lack of motivation to do a certain something called research. That really explains a lot. So, let's move on to another Disney Channel show, shall we? Fish hooks. What do you know? They're actually attempting to make another cartoon. It's a shame that this doesn't have the same magic as Phineas and Ferb. So anyway, Fish Hooks is basically an animated teen sitcom, even if the teens are fish. Because a majority of the cast in this show are voiced by Disney Channel stars from other Disney Channel shows, such as Kyle Massey from That's So Raven, and some, some girl from Starstruck, I have no idea what her name is. So, yeah... That's another thing that annoys me about Disney Channel cartoons. Stop putting your crappy one-dimensional teenage actors in these cartoons and actually hire professional voice actors that know what they're doing. Okay, shit, and now you've gone a little too far. First of all, you were like how... You were like, oh man, Phineas and Ferb is just so good and stuff. It's original, blah, 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 blah. Then all of a sudden, you're suddenly you know, ripping on it. You're actually ripping on the voice actor who does Candace? Come on! <laughs> wow, it goes to show you that you're just, you're just a, uh, you just contradict yourself a little too well. And another thing I need to point out, teen actors nowadays are pretty damn good. I mean, remember Amanda Bynes? <laughs> yeah, she was freaking funny in an Amanda show. And also all that. Also, I may not know Mitchell Moo so much, but at least I can tell he's a good voice actor in um, Phineas and Ferb. That is something I can give uh, give him props for. So I guess I'll I guess I'll look into him uh, into this guy a little bit more, unlike you would uh, with any anything else. I haven't seen much of this fish hook show, but it's bland and annoying and. I don't have much to say about it, other than the fact it sure as heck didn't catch my eye. It didn't make me laugh like Phineas and Ferb did, so I don't find it interesting. Um, I like the fact that they're trying to make more cartoons, but if you're going to make cartoons, make them good cartoons, please. If you actually made an attempt to look for a good cartoon nowadays, you might actually find something that's probably right under your nose. Dipstick. I mean, I can actually list of some quite a quite a lot of good cartoons in my opinion but that that would just be a waste of time so yeah do some fucking research before i close out i want to talk about more in between show promos that disney channel makes <sighs> remember in part two that i stated that that um i was gonna clarify something this is that moment this is the part where he he makes himself a, like a complete idiot out of himself. I am dead serious. So ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for the most stupidest, retarded, retarded, da 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 oh, crap, it's already affected my brain after freaking viewing this. I just hope it doesn't happen to you too. Alright, endure this, people. Like, there's this one called the Big Green Help and stuff like that. These teenagers are trying to stink and tell people that's good to recycle and all that. Okay, one, why in the heck are you freaking showing these on Disney Channel? It's very simple, Ben. They're just spreading the word to be environmentally uh, aware of their surroundings in this planet. Ever thought of that? No, you haven't. Do you think kids give a crap about recycling? That you think if you, you hypnotize kids enough to watching your crappy shows that you're going to hypnotize them into recycling because it's the thing to do? In a way? YES, YOU FUCKING HYPOCRITICAL POSER! I cannot believe you have the nerve to say something like that. Telling kids who watch the Disney Channel to recycle and taking, care of, uh, taking better care of the planet in between commercials is not only a good idea, but it may also convince them to be as cleanly as they want them to be. I'm really starting to think you're just ripping on Disney for the sake of ripping on them. Are you people freaking stupid? You mean telling kids to be more caring about the planet than pointlessly bitch and moan about it like you do? I highly doubt it. 
The freaking older viewers aren't stupid enough to fall for this crap. They don't watch their your channels to get environmental advice. They watch their channels to be entertained. Because I bet a majority of the other of the older viewers are trying to watch Phoenix and Ferb. Because that's your only freaking good show. What? <sighs> it's like this egghead wants to receive one hell of a juggernaut punch from the way he's talking. Okay. Let me mention a few things to those statements you made. Number one, if the Disney Planet Challenge can convince some of the people some of the time whether the viewer is a kid or an adult, then it works. As far as I know, they're not trying to pull off any crap to the people who watches the Disney Channel. The only crap that I've seen to notice is coming out of your mouth when you're boasting words. Number two, stop making it seem like Disney is making a fucking marathon of the Disney Planet Challenge. If it's only airing during the commercials, then why complain about it? And number three, mature audiences view other Disney shows other than Phineas and Ferb. Not many people are going to like that show because it doesn't interest them or they'd rather watch something else that's non-animated. So don't think that Phineas and Ferb is going to be the only show that everyone sees, you smartass. What a waste of a time slot for a, for a have a laugh segment. <clears throat> I can't believe they're not showing enough Mickey. All I want to do is just be able to see his bare ass on TV. It's just not fair in what Disney is doing. Luckily, we got some good ass internet porn, don't we, people? Other other in between show promos that confuse me. They have these like little promos about little kids about how like one wrote learned how to ride his bike and one learned to take care of horses and stuff like that. Watching these, I only have one thing to ask. WHY THE HECK IS THIS ON DISNEY CHANNEL?! You. Cannot. Be serious. Why the fuck do you think they're showing kids doing stuff on Disney Channel? Still don't know? Then let me tell your mindless hypocritical ass the answer. IT'S A FUCKING KIDS CHANNEL! SIMPLE AS THAT! That kind of question is something even the Rowdy Rough Boys could be able to figure out. Stop stressing out over such trivial matter because you're making a total ass of yourself. Get your priorities straight, learn to use your brain and common sense, and more importantly... GET SERIOUS! Why does Disney Channel care about little kids and why should we care about little kids? Oh. You're... You're shitting me, right? You... You got... To be fucking with all of us here. Did you just ask? No. Did you actually mean the crap that you just said? Holy freaking crap. I thought Game Dude's questions were stupid. I thought Testy's 1, 2, 3's uh, questions were just pitiful. I thought I ranted kind of poorly in my rant about censorship gone to fucking hell. But damn! If you're serious of what you just asked... Then, here's your answer. Because it was obvious. Oh, I rode my bike. Oh, I had my first bowl of cereal. Oh, I hugged my first tree. So is everybody else. Okay, listen here, you poor excuse of a freaking whiny-ass supreme elementary fail of an artist. Get laid. I am dead serious, man. I don't care if you get laid by a man, a woman, tentacles, sharks, your own hand, a Disney character, or Excel herself. Calm the fuck down and learn to get over the fact that Disney is a damn children's network. And follow what I've been advising you throughout the videos I've uploaded about your crap. That doesn't make you different or unique from anybody else. So why the heck are you wasting our time slots? Get a life. Okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, did you just say get a life? Wow, I hate to break it to you a little, but they actually do have a life. Ever heard of the term business before? Apparently not. Ah, man, you're such a fucking retarded ass dork.